from ages five to 105, so I barely qualify. <laughs> I ain't no Casey Neistat, so if that's what you're looking for in the vlog, yeah, this ain't the vlog for you. There won't be any jumping off of helicopters, I won't be jumping off cliffs, riding a boosted board, none of that stuff. What this vlog will be is about the life of being a small business owner. Just more of a business, small business lifestyle kind of vlog. A little bit of technology, kind of stuff I used to make money. Hopefully you'll learn a few things. I'll be able to ask you questions, answer them in the vlog. This is a vlog for you who, you know, look to be a small business owner or you are a business owner or you thinking about being self-employed and just kind of what life is like. And the idea is to upload one of these every Monday morning. And this is kind of my week throughout the week and the things that I go through dealing with everything from taxes to employees to generating growth, managing finances and all that sort of stuff. That's, but you know, also a little bit of the personal. I've been married for 25 years. I'm a grandfather, I'm a dad, um, and just kind of share my life, my interests, my passions, my hobbies with you. But it's all kind of, see, to me, it all kind of blends together, right? You just, I don't compartmentalize that easily. One kind of flows into the other, to the other, to the other. So I just, that's the whole purpose of the vlog. All right. Um, see this legal pad here? I'm a legal pad fanatic, and I use it to make to-do lists. And I have done that my entire working career other than when I worked in a job that didn't require such a thing, like a factory or whatever. I'd done that kind of work when I was young. But I found the to-do list uh, invaluable, right? And of course, I jot down phone numbers and all that, but essentially, to-do list is all the tasks I gotta get done. And that's great if you have a defined job. That's, that's just great. But if you own a business, see, what's the most important thing in a, in a business? And in my opinion, it's growing that business, right? Getting more customers, selling more products, doing all this stuff. That's what's really, really important and creating something of value, a sustainable business. And what I found with doing a to-do list is that it's very easy to get so caught up in the tasks and get overwhelmed in the tasks that you forget to work on the things that's pushing that business forward, driving it forward to the next level. And so you have to work on keeping that to-do list balanced with those things that are going to keep the business growing and going in a substantial. So, you know, it's the same thing in personal life, right? You got your personal goals, you got your things you got to do, your chores around the house, and you got your groceries to go buy and gutters to clean the car to wash and kids to get dressed and go to school, et cetera. Those are all the tasks. But what about your personal goals in life, right? Saving for retirement, planning a great vacation, you know, having a, you know, a party, et cetera, all these things. What the things that are most valuable, sometimes I think we neglect to make the most or we make the least time for. The things that pay off the best, the most in our life, we neglect to make time for. And that's the to-do list. The to-do list really needs to be more about a list of things that you need to do to keep things moving forward. And uh, the important things, the big picture things, because we get caught, so caught up in the, boom, in the mundane things, right? The daily tasks, we get so caught up in that, that uh, sometimes we forget the big picture. This is my office, right? Uh, this is where I spend most of my day and I'm either working on uh, the company or I'm creating content. This is not the best room for this. Apologize about the sound, a new microphone is on its way. So I'm using the built-in microphone on the camcorder, but it's divided into four zones. And I just thought I'd give you a quick little tour of this. And so you can see where I spend my day. This is zone one. This is where I record my YouTube videos. Here I have the uh, Asus ZenBook Pro UX501, a Canon 70D with a Rode uh, VideoMic Pro on top, sitting on a Joby GorillaPod, 
And I've got my uh, Sony uh, Studio Monitor headphones over here, uh, just an external drive. And essentially what I do when I record my talking head videos, uh, talking, this is an 18 to 50, uh, 135 millimeter lens. I actually get a live view on the laptop so I can you know, check exposure and all that kind of stuff. And so yeah, this is where I sit and I make my YouTube videos right and through here. This is zone two. And this is where I spend almost all my time. So I have my Alienware Aurora 51 and uh, it's, it's a refurbished computer. Really, really powerful. It's got a six core CPU. It's got a NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti on board, 16 gigs of RAM. I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna upgrade that in the near future. 34 inch LG ultra wide monitor, uh, Logitech C920 webcam. Logitech uh, mechanical keyboard. Like here's what I do on this thing all day. I spend most of my time in QuickBooks, right? And I do quotes and invoices, and I do all that stuff in there. We have Skype meetings, and uh, then I have sales and marketing tools, my CRM system, all that kind of stuff. This is where I spend most of my day. And then uh, when I edit the videos, I do it on here, and I use either uh, Magic's Vegas Pro 15. And also DaVinci Resolve, the free version. If you're looking for a professional quality video editor, uh, that's very, very good for free. It's really tough to beat DaVinci Resolve right now. This is the worst piece of the office right here. And this is just office gear, my inkjet printer, my router. Um, I have a Synology NAS, cable modem, paper, Small little file cabinet, which is all busted up and I got to get rid of. Nothing really exciting to see here, but yeah, I mean, this is kind of where the office, let's just call it office equipment. That's kind of where that sits. This is the junk area, zone four. Now this is going to get a new desk and some more lighting. And then when I do like unboxings and product reviews, I'm going to shoot them on this uh, in this area. That's my old custom gaming PC I built. I got a 2010 MacBook Pro uh, over here. Stuff I got in for review. I gotta clean this up. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is incomplete. Uh, it just is. But anyhow, now you've got a, a good idea of uh, kind of where I spend my day at all day. I don't know how many times in the past that I have forgot to turn on the microphone before sitting down to make a video. Or, actually, more often what I do is I turn on the microphone, record my video, then I forget to turn the thing off, and then I, and then I end up with uh, batteries that are shot. This is my solution right here, the Video Micro from Rode. Comes with a two-year warranty, doesn't require a battery, it's very small, comes with a dead cat that you put on there. And uh, so, yeah. From now on, I should be able just to turn on the camera and the mic just working when I turn it off it's done that's the game plan so let's go ahead and open up the box here let's see yeah. and this was only 59 bucks there we go right there's the package that it comes in not a whole lot to it then boom one fluffy rabbit rabbit dead cat thing the microphone's already in there that's kind of cool I don't mess with that that's the uh, mount and then you get uh, the cable yeah, silica gel and a really small booklet there you go but hey if this will save me some batteries and make running gun uh, setting up and recording a vlog easier in my life because man I'm into simplifying everything at this stage just simplify everything and I'm still going to keep my Rode Video Mic Pro I'm still going to keep my Audio Technica uh, shotgun microphone but this is for running gun stuff and that's what I'm really looking forward to so I tell you what I'm going to set this all up on my camera and then we'll uh, give a little bit of a sound test all right all right, so I got the Rode Video Micro hooked up to my T6i, and uh, this is how it sounds. Uh, I, it doesn't have quite the deepness for the voice, 
But all in all, it's, I think it's adequate. I think it's adequate, it's way better than the built-in microphones on your camera. And they're like 60 bucks. And the cool thing is, you'll never forget uh, to turn off the microphone or go to record something and not have audio because you have a dead microphone. And that's the advantage, the true advantage of one of these Rode video micros. So there you have it. Hey everybody, my lovely wife Cindy is joining me in this segment of the vlog. I was telling you uh, that we got my mom who's got advanced dementia living in a nursing home. A companion pet from Hasbro. This is a robot cat, right? That Cindy actually found. She was uh, looking for something to help mom. And you know, these folks in these nursing homes don't get a lot of company. They're not allowed to have pets of any kind. And so... They get lonely. They get lonely. And this looked cool on Amazon, and we've checked out some YouTube videos, and so we ordered one. Thought I'd just take a minute, unbox it, show it to you, kind of show you a little, little bit what it does. If you've got somebody that's a shut-in, or, you know, they're living alone, and uh, this might make a perfect gift for them, I think. Oh, I agree. It's totally cool, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the box. We actually had it out. I was going to say, I, and I didn't put it back like it. No, you didn't. <laughs> Did not put it back. That's okay. I didn't know, you know, I just wanted to protect the cat. You wanted to protect the cat. There you did. <laughs> and, and you did, and by gosh, you did. And right here he Easy. is. Right here he is. Comes with a little brush uh, device. There we go. Right there. And he's got a, uh, it takes four C batteries is what he takes. But you get a lot of battery life because what it'll do is it'll go into sleep mode uh, if you don't respond to it. So it's got different sensors in his ears, on his cheeks, on his tummy. Um, I think maybe the back tail, you know how cats like this. <laughs> you ever do that, pet a cat and it goes, <laughs> We have two cats, dear. All right, okay. So on his belly, you got a flap here. And you got, that's where your power switch is. And, and check it out. <laughs> Yeah, how about that? Yeah. And so anyhow, you scratch his head. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> it just scared. <laughs> One of our cats just seen this and just took it off. But you can scratch his cheek. Oh, she's gonna roll over. It's gonna roll over. Is it gonna roll over? No. Yes. No. no, it's just purring. It purrs. It will roll over on his back. Just does all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but the idea is for give these folks something that they can't have, right? And it'll sit there and purr, yes, yes, yes. I was gonna say, you need to stroke the cat. You gotta stroke it, I mean, and it'll sit there and purr in their lap, and I just think that's really cool. I really do, I think it's a very, very cool thing. And I think these folks will enjoy it. I, I think that, um, you know, we have a granddaughter, uh -huh. Cookie, and she would love to have something like that. Oh, well, I think there's a lot of kids that would, you know, it's from ages five but to 105, there you go, see again? <laughs> That's just neat. I know, right? From ages 5 to 105, so I barely qualify. <laughs> um, Anyhow, hey, thanks for joining me in the vlog. Oh, you're welcome. You're going to see Cindy from time to time because we own the business together and she's got her input in, on what we do and how well, to do it. Well, we wouldn't want that in the vlog. Was it you always tell me, show me the money? Yeah, show me the money. Do that, do that thing you do and you go, show me the money. Show me the money. No, it's <laughs> so we're on our way to dinner and. Here's the thing about Indiana, and it's probably true in a lot of parts of the country, which is, you know, no matter where you go, there's always somebody dragging something down the road. No matter, tractors, trailers, jet skis, boats, refrigerators, you name it, down the road. And the thing is, I always seem to get behind them, each and every time. There we go. We having some uh, iced tea there. Yes. We're trying to get the romance in this thing, right? Go My special there. iced tea with lots of lemon. Oh, yes, lots, lots, and lot, and I do mean lots of lemon. It's an absolutely beautiful sandwich. It is, and it's going to be delicious. Look at that. A lot of good things in there for you. A lot of bad stuff too. What's bad? Croutons. Iceberg lettuce doesn't really have anything going for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tomato. Right. Right. Look at those beautiful prime rib dinners. That is a nice looking piece of meat. Okay. 
They're beautiful. Huh? They're beautiful. Yes, they are. And I can't wait to eat them. <laughs> now that, that is a beautiful ride. Look at that. Woo. You know me, I'm kind of a car nut. That is sharp. Good old nine miles.